Good morning, welcome to day one in Minot, North Dakota. We've got Pebbles, my mom's grabbing her sunglasses real quick. Today is the largest parade in North Dakota. Um, the state fair started yesterday, so we're gonna see if we can find a coffee and get a spot on the route. We found a spot to park downtown and now we're walking to where we think the parade is happening. It's going down Broadway and East Burdick something, Expressway, and then going to the fairgrounds. But we see lots of people gathered. So we're gonna go. Are you excited, Mother? I'm excited! <laughs> All right, we are leaving the parade now. We're on float 137. I think there's like 200 or more floats. Um, as you can see, people had their lawn chairs out. It's a several hour long parade. So it's, what time is it, 11.40? 11.22. It's 11.22. The parade started at 9 a.m. and I think we're pretty close to the starting line. Um, and I have a feeling it's, yeah, gonna go on for longer as well. Hi again, as you can probably tell, it is several hours later. The parade was a super fun way to spend my first morning in Minot, North Dakota. Now I wanna share with you some things that I learned, kind of my take on the parade. First of all, like I said earlier, it is a several hour long parade, so it started at 9 a.m. We left at 11.20, probably had well over an hour left of it. A lot of people had lawn chairs. I believe it was the Visit Minot Instagram page that kind of said like best tips and practices to enjoy the parade. So they mentioned to bring lawn chairs, bring shade, wear sunscreen, bring water, and also for the kids to bring bags because every single float or entrant, whatever you want to call it, was throwing out candy. They were throwing out koozies and whistles and frisbees and hot dogs and icy pops, Pepsis, everything you could imagine. Basically like Halloween trick or treat time. It was really cute how often it occurred that like someone in the float knew someone who was watching. Like that was a very common occurrence that I noticed. So very much like small town life. I will say I don't think the event is pet friendly or dog friendly. They never advertise themselves as dog friendly, but uh, especially taking my dog, she did fine. But during the parades, there were lots of like big rig trucks blowing their horns. That was a lot of noise. One of the floats threw out whistles and all of the kids around us had whistles. That was a lot of noise, kind of freaking her out too. But overall, she did really well. I did not see other people have their dogs with them unless it was a dog that was like in a float. As someone who has migraine disease, I did okay because I had taken medicine beforehand, but while I was there, I did wish that I had brought earplugs with me. Again, while most of it was fine, like random floats would be like playing music or like whatever, all that was fine. It was just the occasional like whistles or loud honking or cars revving their engines that started to get a little iffy. Overall, super enjoyable experience. Would recommend attending the parade if you happen to be here at the start of the North Dakota State Fair. Since my sister's here, we are gonna go to the State Fair and see what that has. I wanna know from your experience, what is your favorite thing to do at the fair? Is it eating? Is it rides? Is there a fair food that you recommend that everyone else tries? Let me know. Also, if you've made it this far, please comment a horse emoji down in the comments. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep dreaming out loud. I will see you guys next time. Bye.